Hello everybody, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the MetaTrader 4 strategy tester, also known as a back tester, for practicing price action on the daily chart without having to wait every single day to do so. So when you open up MetaTrader 4, this is basically what, what everyone's going to see. You're going to see your pairs here, you're going to see your navigator here, here's your terminal, it's got uh, you know all your, your information on here. And this is your charting window. This happens to be my template. Yours may be completely different, but this is this is what you basically see. The first thing you want to do is view and close your terminal. You can either do it from, from there, or you can just hit the X down here. That just gets it out of the way for now. The next thing you want to do is view strategy tester. Now, from here, you may have to actually uh, make this bigger. As you see here, when I make it small, some of the information below is, is not listed. We need some of that. We need this. Uh, this little visual and uh, bar here. So you're going to have expert advisor selected. I selected the MACD sample, which is just one of the two default ones it comes with. Um, I'm going to hit daily period because that's what we're testing on. Select the pair. I just happen to select GBP NZD. Um, I select control points because this takes much longer and there's no need. You don't need every tick. We're actually just looking at the daily bars. So control points is good enough for our purposes. You could use a date specifically if you've prior done the test on that uh, that pair and you know that, hey, I'm already at 2015, you know, in March, so let me just start there. You can go ahead and click use date and hit start. If you don't, it'll go back as far as the, the actual information it has to use. The most important part is you select visual mode and then you move this bar all the way down. Um, from there, what's going to happen is when I hit start, it's not really going to move very fast. That give us some time to, to prep and, and get ready. Okay, so we're going to hit hit start. When you hit start, it might say retrieving data. Um, you know, it's going to pull data from the server on, on, on this information. Now it's going to open up this this chart here. Now this is just a chart, uh, like any of your other charts. If you scroll all the way, we have a whole bunch of dailies open, um, just for testing. It's right here. It's the GBP NCD daily visual. I can right click. I can apply my template to it if I want. Um, I can go ahead and I can draw on it. I can say, oh, I, you know, this is clearly a, a support. Um, I can look over here and say, this is, you know, uh, you know, a resistance zone. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a resistance this is support. Either way, it's a price pivot zone. Uh, I can zoom in and out. I can look uh, historically. You know, right now, since we just started it, this is as far back as this particular pair has in history. Um, now I can look and say, oh, from here, is there anything that, that I like? Well, I like this pin bar right here off the top of the, the resistance zone. So I could come in here. I can zoom this way a little bit. I can put another line and say, okay, let's say I'm going to buy right here. I'm, doing, I'm sorry, I'm going to do a sell right here. I can modify this line. Once you do this uh, to start with, it becomes easier. You're not having to actually do this every single time. But I'm going to do a line here. This is going to be my buy line. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a small line or something like this. Um, oh, did I not take the color? I don't think the color took horizontal line property. I don't think it liked that. Let's uh, got another blue on here. Uh, medium blue. And we'll make it this guy. Okay. Um, still, I don't know why that didn't change, but okay, let's go to our next line. Uh, okay, so this one we'll just delete. For some reason, it didn't actually want to apply correctly. So we'll move this line to our buy or sell because we're doing a sell. We can come in here and create another line. And we'll say, okay, our stop will be right above these pins here. Give us give us some room to breathe. Uh, let's see here. We go to oops. And properties, we'll go ahead and make that one red. And then we can move these as we want later. And then I'll create one more for our take profit. We'll call that green. Uh, let's say we want to take profit down in this resistance line area here. Okay, so I can click this horizontal line property. Let's go ahead and make that one green, why not? Okay, now we can go ahead and hit play. Now it looks like, I'm not sure if it's already playing or it's paused because this button sometimes is the reverse of what it actually is. But if I start moving this forward, um, I see the chart is not moving. So I'm moving back down. I hit the button. Okay. Now it's starting to move. 
So as I move it up, the faster it will move. So you don't want to move it too far because you you don't you want to be able to pause in between the bars um, when you see something. But for now, um, let's see here. What do we got? What's happening? A little bit faster. And we can watch this. And we can speed it up a little very fast. Oh, looks like... Uh, could have been. It was very close to being stopped out. Maybe I had my stop a little bit low. But we'll, we'll say that it didn't quite touch it. Just for the purposes of this, uh, this quick little video here. Um, oh. It's looking good for us. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Let's speed it up just a little bit here since we're in a trade and while we're in a trade we don't need to worry about pausing in between um, bars because we're actually watching to see what happens with what we did so we never hit our take profit and you can choose to stop this at any time um, okay so we hit pause move this back down so we did hit our take profit now I could have paused it over here and done some analysis said maybe I didn't have my take profit at the right level maybe uh, the stop like like we just talked about maybe this stop wasn't at the quite level at quite the right level um, I can look in here and say well was the trend actually the correct trend was it, were I playing the, the trend correctly and I can do some uh, post analysis and look at the Fibonacci level this allows me to do analysis on each trade that I make to determine whether or not uh, I made a good choice and then I can actually create a little journal and do this over and over again and keep testing my ability to spot price action based on pivot zones, uh, Fibonacci, uh, Confluence, uh, you know, any number of things that you want to use, but you're doing it manually. You're not actually, there's not a tester here. You're the one doing it. You're the one hitting pause, play, you know, you're the one actually looking to see what's going on and whether or not you were right or wrong. And then you can pause it and analyze. Why did it go my direction? Why did it not? Once you're done, simply hit stop. You can close this visual and you can view, turn off the strategy tester, view, uh, turn back the terminal and you're back to your actual, um, your actual chart here. I hope this was a helpful video for everyone. Uh, see you on the forums.